this is going to be a really instructive exercise on function compositions. We're going to prove that the composition of two group homomorphisms is also a group homomorphism. So I'm going to call it a proposition. And we're going to carefully lay out the proposition and explain it with diagrams and everything. And then we're going to carefully go through the proof because I think it's important. It's good stuff. So let, let's look at f from g to h. And we're going to have g from, say, h to k. Let these be group homomorphisms. Be group homomorphisms. Okay, so we're going to let these be group homomorphisms. Then the claim is, then the map, and so the map we're looking at here is GOF. And let's think about what the codomain and domain are. So F, its domain is G. So if you were to take an element, because first you apply F, right? You read, the, you, this is applied right to left. So it takes an element in G, sends it to H, and then G takes H, takes an element from H and sends it to K. So this goes from G to K. Okay, and we're gonna draw a diagram of this in a minute. Is a group homomorphism. Okay, so let's go ahead now and verify that this makes sense, right? Does this make sense? Does this map make sense? I think it's always important when you have compositions to think about it. So one way to make it make sense is just to think about it and then we'll do the diagram. So let's think about it one more time. If you take an element X, right, and you apply it here, what happens? Let's just do it over here. You get G O F of X, right? And what is that going to be? It's going to be G of F of X. So X takes an element in G, sends it to an element in H called F of X. Oh, okay, this is an H. That's the domain of G, and that sends it to an element in K. Okay, so everything looks okay. Let's draw a picture. Here's G. Here's H, here's K. And we know that F goes from G to H, so F would look something like this. And we know G goes from H to K, so G would look something like this. And so we're looking at GOF, okay, and that goes from G to K. Right, because if you take an element here, X, F takes it, sends it to f of x, and then g takes the element f of x and sends it to another element over here, which we don't know what it's called, but, well, it's called g of f of x, right? It'd be g of f of x. That's the idea. All right, so we're gonna prove this is a group homomorphism. So what is a group homomorphism? I probably should have told you at the beginning, in case you're watching this video and you don't know what it is. Um, so f is a group homomorphism, basically means that if you have f of x, y, that's going to be equal to f of x times f of y for all x, y in g, where here the multiplication takes place in g, and then here it takes place in h. So these can be wildly different operations. This could be like addition, and this could be just regular multiplication, or you know we don't know, right? It's, it's uh, undetermined. We just call it an operation. All right, let's go through this proof. So we're trying to show that this is a group homomorphism. So we have to show it's true for all x, y, and g. So for all x, y, and g, we have the following. We have to look at g, o, f of x, y, right? Because we have to satisfy this definition, but for g, o, f, not for f. So now what does this mean? g, o, f of x, y means g of f of x, y. That's just the definition of composition. So this is by definition of composition. That's why this equality is true here. So this is, let me just say, let me actually write it down. By definition of comp. I'm going to write down every single reason on the side here. A lot of times I'll just say it in words, but let, let's be perfect. Let's write it all out. 
Now we're gonna use the fact that F is a group homomorphism. So this is G of F of X times F of Y. And this is because F is a homomorphism. Okay, we're applying the definition of a homomorphism uh, on F because F is a homomorphism. Now we're gonna use the fact G is a group homomorphism. So this is actually G of F of X times G of F of Y. And this is true because G is a group homomorphism. So this is because G is a homomorphism. Okay. And what is G of F of X? Well, by definition of composition, that's G O F of X. And G of F of Y is G O F of y. Notice how I say it differently. G of f of x. G of f of y. Here I say g o f of x. It's not g of, it's g o, it's o. This is by definition of comp, of composition. Beautiful, beautiful. And that completes the proof. Hence, g o f is a group homomorphism. And that completes the proof. Kind of a nice problem, right? And it's really not that hard. Hopefully you've, you've learned some math uh, by watching this video. This is really useful, this idea of function composition and this proof, um, I mean, the only thing I didn't write was, you know, suppose F and G are group homomorphisms, but that's given up here, you know, it's pretty much understood. If you were doing this for like a homework assignment, you'd probably want to write it. But this is pretty precise here. You know, every, every single reason is explained. And I think whenever you're, you're writing proofs, it's really important to at least be able to understand why every single step follows. Like even, even the definition parts are written here, right? Definition of composition. So airtight, airtight proof. Always try to create proofs where you know why every single step follows. And if you don't know, then that's the challenge. The challenge is to figure that out. So good stuff. Hopefully this video has taught you even just a little bit of mathematics. Even if you learn one thing, then I think it's worth it. Until next time, good luck and take care.